we're going to discuss, what we're going to discuss is force. Force is the cause of all motion. If you have dealt in an amateur way, not being mean, just means you're not proficient in it yet. You've dealt in an amateur way with force your entire life. Stop pushing me, stop pulling me, why are you touching me? Siblings deal with this quite a bit. Alright? Whole bunch of forces. I push the door, I pull the door. These are all forces, but you've never been specific with what exactly they are, and that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, well, first of all, put the force up here, and of course, make sure that you write more than I write on the board today. You definitely, in order to take good notes, need to have more down than what I say. Alright, force is, like I said, the cause of motion. Its units are measured in newtons, and it is, in fact, a vector, which means what? Direction matters, yeah. It's magnitude, and that should hopefully make sense, because if I get pushed this way, which way are you going to expect me to go? That way. That way. It doesn't matter if I just say I got pushed, where do I end up? The first thing you're going to ask is, what direction did you get pushed, right? So that's why it matters. <coughs> Measured in Newtons, and it's a vector. What we're going to discuss now is base the four basic forces. According to science, as of right now, there are no forces that are not one of these four. We, of course, hold back. We say there might be some others out there if we look very, very close or very, very far away. But since we don't have that technology yet, these are the four that we know of. And they are called, called the four fundamental forces. There are no forces that are not one of these four. Number one, you deal with this one all the time, although probably not in the same way as you think. This is the law of, or the force of gravitation, or gravity. Gravitation is the attraction between all Masses. <laughs> All of them. You got mass? Do you? Yeah. You got gravity. Congratulations. You earned it. Not good. You ate. I don't know if that's earning. Anyway, so if you have mass, you've got gravity. That means if uh, if Joe and I are in the middle of space, all right, and we're we're sitting there and not dying because of the vacuum of space. We would find each other, uh, we would be attracted to each other. He's like, hey. <laughs> we would come closer to, no. uh, we would move towards, I'm good. All right. So, everything's got mass, but you would see this. You would, we, uh, you are currently attracted to the entire universe. All mass in the universe is attracted to you right now. Yes, you can feel confident in yourself. And you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and you say, the, mat, the universe is attracted to you. <laughs> all right. And it's true. All mass in the universe is currently pulling you all over the place. Now, the question is, why don't I feel it? Please make sure we're paying attention. Well, here's the reason why. Out of the four of these, this is, and this will be relative strength over here, this is the fourth weakest. It's the weakest forces out of, out of the four. Weakest force out of the four. That means in order to see a major effect, two things have to happen. Number one, you have to have a ton, not a ton, that's 2,000 pounds, a bunch, a, a lot, much, many much uh, mass, a lot of it. What are some, or and it's got to be close enough to you. There are three objects that you really see major effects of because, or three objects that cause, <coughs> Gravity that you see effects of. What's one? Stars. Now, not that we see the effect of, because those aren't close enough. What's that? Now, you guys are going the hardest one first. All right, sure, the moon. All right, how do you see the moon's effect? Tides. Tides, right. We'll get to that here in just a second, but let's cover the other two. What's the easiest one? Earth. Thank you. Yes, the Earth's. Uh, that's specifically what you typically generally call gravity, is the Earth's attraction to whatever other object you're talking about. And what's the uh, second one? The bright light in the sky. Sure, the sun. Earth, sun, and moon. Real quick on tides, I'm not going to go too far into this, but say this is the world, this is a terrible world I know. All right, and here's the moon, or the golf ball thing over here. All right, here's the reason for the tides. 
the Earth, the Moon, actually pulls water up a little bit. Not that much. That's probably going to destroy some places. But um, the Moon pulls the water up just a little bit. So when people actually say the high tide came in, that's actually an inaccurate statement. Because the high tide stays exactly where it's at. What happens? What are we doing the entire day? Turn. We're turning. We rotate in to the high tide. So we actually come to the high tide. The high tide doesn't come to me. And that's why you get tides. And of course, once you rotate away from that, then you go into low tides. All right. Gravitation is the attraction between all masses. This means it takes two objects. And the mass of both objects is what affects the force of gravity. Oh, by the way, I didn't put this. Gravitation, and you know, if you write it down, force of G, force of gravity. Anyone know the common name for gravitation? Gravity? What do you typically call it? You don't typically call it force of gravity. Someone comes up to you and they don't ask you, what's your force of gravity? What do they ask? Weight. What is your weight? That's weight. Now, hopefully you can see why there's the misconception between mass and force of gravity. Because mass has a huge effect on the force of gravity, but they're not the same thing. As I said up here, it takes two objects. So if we took me and I went to the moon, would my mass change? Would my number of atoms change? No. no. What if I went to space? No. No matter where we put me, unless I eat a cheeseburger or pardon the graphic nature, but uh, believe myself in any particular way, I'm not changing my mass. Right? We just put me in different places, that's not going to do anything. Is my gravity or my weight going to change? Yes. 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 Absolutely. If I go to the moon, does my weight change? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the mass didn't change, so why did it? What effect? Yeah, what effect? What? What's the second object, and how did the second object change? Yes, the moon has less mass. So the second object, the Earth, or the moon in this case, got less. If the Earth could amoeba another planet, I used amoeba as a verb. It could let's consume another planet and become twice as massive. What would happen to all of our weights? They go up. We'd all be like, you know, if I'm 150 50 pounds, which roughly I am, I could be about 300 pounds. Doesn't mean I did anything to affect that. It means the, the planet did. Now, the reason why we don't typically think about that is because the Earth's mass doesn't usually change that much. As a matter of fact, when when meteors come down and hit, we actually do gain some mass, but it's depreciable or so small that you can't really see it. <clears throat> really, what typically changes in mass? You do. So since you change in mass, that's why you usually consider that as part of your weight. But when we talk about the moon, when I go to the moon, the second object, of course, becomes less massive, and so there's less gravity. So then when I go in the middle of space, what's my weight? Zero. Why? Why is there no gravity? That's the question. There's no second mass. If there's not a second mass, you're not going to have force of gravity. If there was nothing else around, there would be no attraction. Right? So like we talked about before, if I was in the middle of space, there'd be no force of gravity. Why is this an incorrect statement to ever ask or say? What is the Earth's weight? Okay. Until I say what the second object is, you can't say. What's weird to think about is this. If, uh, if someone asks you what's the Earth's weight, you say, well, I weigh 150 pounds, so the Earth weighs 150 pounds. <laughs> this, that's the pull, right? The Earth pulls me and I pull the Earth, and so it weighs 150 pounds compared to me. Right? That's, it, that's the force. All right. Think about that later. Second force. So gravity is the attraction between all masses. And really, honestly, we only really see it major effects these three times. Right now, I'm actually being attracted by the, uh, uh, by the ceiling. Weird to think about, but when you're indoors, force of gravity is less. Because the ceiling's pulling you up. Not much less, not any sort of less that you can even possibly see, but it is a little bit less. 